So since it's the summertime, I thought it best to be talk about, a f you know, the past, you know, summer in the past, you know. If you can already tell by talking about what I'm talking about in this video. So I want to take a look back on, pro on what I would say is probably one of the greatest summers in my life. And also for TV watching wise. And just probably one of the best years for TV in general for me. And I'd say it's the summer of Cartoon Network in 2005. Looking back, it's just like, I remember a lot of it. I remember it's like, that's what I started to know, got a lot more into CN City. Man, that was a great time in CN City, honestly. And it had the most catchiest song ever, too, from, you know, during that time. Come a little closer, we got something new. Cartoon Network is the thing that's gonna keep you cool. Happy <laughs> many Mac and numbers, one, two, three, please. The future can't fly, so no one's gonna believe. Still got that in my head from time to time when it's especially in the summertime too. Oh man, to think it's been 15 years ago since that happened. It's been 15 years since it's the summer of 2005 in Cartoon Network. I'd say that was during the time it was in its prime too. You know, thinking back, it's just like I still remember. I still look go back and look at some of the bumpers and promos they did for the summer 2005 in CN City because I honestly thought that was probably the greatest summer they ever did in Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network's history. I remember they did the same thing in 06 and next year too, basically, but they did it with the same bumpers and everything, but they did a remix of the, of the Cartoon Network's summer song, but it wasn't that great, honestly. It wasn't. I still got the DJ music stuck in my head from <laughs> from Blue and everyone else doing that kind of stuff. Oh, man. So why is it so memorable for me? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I think it's just because, you know, summertime, summertimes are always fun. And the thing is, it's just like, it's the first time I actually saw you get to see a lot of characters together. A lot of cartoon characters get together in just this whole big city in this one universe. And interact with each other while, while, while in these bumpers, during these bumpers and stuff. And seeing just a bunch of the environment in general. And just looking at the scenery. And when you see that scenery as a kid and you're just thinking, oh man, that looks so beautiful and cool. I wish you, man, you wish you could be doing stuff like that basically. Or just hang out in a place like that and see in city. Because to be honest, who wouldn't want when when you look at that, who wouldn't want to hang out in the CN City? I mean, I would, I definitely would. I definitely would. <laughs> Anyways, bringing this though brings up to think. Like I said, 15 years ago, this all happened, and and I was in the first grade when this all happened. And man, bringing back it brings up so much nostalgia for it to be 15 years ago. Oh my God, how I missed the good old days of Cartoon Network back then. Man, back then when everything was uh, still, t it didn't didn't end until 10 or 11 p.m. Now everything ends at 10 p.m., which is the most stupidest thing ever for Cartoon Network. <sighs> Poor Cartoon Network. I still watch it from time to time, honestly. I just haven't had a chance to because of you know cable. But I still watch it when I get the chance to, especially when it comes to other stuff. So I'm basically choosing to talk about this. It's because you know. Like I said, summertime, and I, I really want to hit the note that I think, from what I just said, it's basically one of the greatest summers to watch on TV, to watch TV ever for a cartoon, for a kid, for when you were a kid, and in, for cartoons in general. That's why I actually decided to wear this shirt too for the nostalgia as well, since I know I'd be talking about it today when I when I make when I make it. But man, so it had it had everything. It had the voice. And then, you know, it was basically, Cartoon Network was in its prime back then. And then eventually when it hit, when it was all said and done for the summer, when it was over, you got Cartoon Network City in the fall, 
and that was still still kicking off stuff man and i think it's just like 2005 was probably one of the greatest years on on an, on the, on the network so but i like to hit the note too because remember from one of the things that happened if you remember from the promos it gave us so the summer 2005 gave us camp laszlo camp laszlo was, i love that show Life from time to juniper lee was on was, was started too but man that show was underrated i don't know how exactly it ended too i might I, if i can ever find where to watch it online i'll probably f f see watch it when i get the time man i feel like that was an underrated show and it kind of ended too soon from what i think it ended too soon honestly it didn't last it didn't run as long as other shows during that time so that's why i say so and then you had the I pretty much said one of most of the things I said, except you know, I mean, what? But if I were to give my favorite bits on the bumpers, my favorite bits on the bumpers were, you know, it's probably <laughs> was Johnny Bravo and doing ice cream truck and everything, was and then Laszlo, I think it was Laszlo, yeah, Laszlo, <laughs> in that thing, giving he got ice cream from Johnny and he gave it the wrong one. He was like, hey, this is tofu, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was another. One. And my, another one I find most memorable too is I forgot the name of the dog from Jun from Juniper Lee. Him catching a frisbee and f flirting with friggin' uh, Velma and I forgot who else. I think it was Mandy. Maybe I I could be wrong, but that's why I remember, remember saying that. And another one that I rem I remember a lot. It's this one. Is where they have the stadium, the Cartoon Network Stadium, off in the distance with the trash can having the the summer logo on it and everything. Playing it in the background, I'm just like, was that scenery? Because I'm a very visual guy sometimes when it comes to this. I just like seeing s visual stuff that I think are is beautiful. Like especially, especially stuff like that in sceneries. Like being a sun, being that kind of person, because it's just like I look at the scenery and I'm just thinking, oh my god, this all looks nice, and seeing what looks crap, space. But everything just made it for me as a child, even to this day. I still found it very appealing. Yeah, I still find it, think it was the mo most appealing stuff to this day on, on the network. Ah, oh, man. How times have changed. If I were to do any, if I were to ever run a network one day, I'd definitely bring back CN City. And for this, and the summer, and the summer programs for that kind of stuff. I know, I know they've kind of teased CN, CN City from time to time. Like in that OKO crossover when the, one day, when in the end, you finally get to see the full scenery and updated version of of CN City, and then they brought back a bit of bumpers with cartoon characters act, interacting with each other. And I think most memorable ones were in the in movie theaters, so that's what I remember. <sighs> Man, uh, the good times of childhood. My God, I don't think it'd be so much nostalgia for it too. <laughs> oh man, I loved. Uh, I missed still you know, those good old days. So I just decided to bring this up because I wanted to, like I said, I think it's the greatest summer ever. I think it should never be forgotten as a place in history on on cartoons and TV t TV history in general for kids. Definitely one of the best times I ever had as a kid from being in 2005. It still brings back memories to this day. Oh, man, I miss those days. Uh, let's see, let's see. I know it's a big rant for me to say this about this all stuff, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people could have probably agree with me that if you're around my age, 2005, in the summer of 2005, this was probably one of the greatest summers on Cartoon Network ever, and probably for years of watching as a kid from seeing all this stuff. Yeah. Anyways, that's all. Right. That's all right. I just want to talk about that just to give a little flashback to the past during the summer and just think about some of the best some of the best summers that's happened in the past. And when I, when I think of one, I think of the summer of 2005 on Cartoon Network, so, yeah. yeah.